the United Nations Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights likened restrictive U.S. policies on abortion to torture and a form of extremist hate. Kate Gilmore, in an interview with The Guardian published Tuesday, did not specify which state law she was referring to, but characterized the U.S. as being in a crisis. This is a crisis. It's a crisis directed at women, she said, adding that tougher measures restricting women's access to the procedure may soon be coming. Gilmore said receiving women's access to safe and legal abortions is punitive and a denial of rights. It's clear it's torture. It's a deprivation of a right to health, she said. Gilmore added that the UN Committee of Experts in charge of monitoring nine core UN human rights instruments have made clear that the absolute prohibition of abortion is against human rights. Several U.S. states in recent months have passed restrictive abortion laws, which we already know about, with Alabama enacting a near-total ban that is designed to challenge the landmark Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision that ensured abortion rights nationwide. Several other states have passed heartbeat laws that prohibit abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected, generally around six to eight weeks into pregnancy. Into pregnancy. So, you know, this goes back to what I was talking about where I said that you look at the world and they kind of see the U.S. as this strange place. You know, they, they talk about innovation, but then the, the richest people tend to come from these families where they're literally only rich themselves due to being the sperm or the seed of someone who actually made something of themselves, like the current president of the United States and his father. But, um, you know, they, they see a lot of contradictions. And, you know, for her, I bet she, her view is that, you know, the U.S. calls itself this land of, of freedom and, you know, liberty, but then you can't not have a kid that you get knocked up with. And I said before that, um, there are a lot of instances of, I'm sure, people who use abortion to go and, you know, get rid of something that they could have just not had to worry about if they had used a condom or just too negligent and lazy to go through with that. But one of the, the, the arguments I've seen, actually, that I thought was really interesting is someone who said, you know, banning this is going to be just like banning um, alcohol. People are still going to do it. It's just going to be you know, like a black market, basically. So, you know, you're still going to have people who, who will get abortions, even if it's off the books. They're just not going to do it, you know, in a official manner. They're going to go to some backdoor person. Um, so, you know, these, these laws really accomplish nothing other than, you know, grandstanding. And, you know, I said before that I'm not worried about these. And, I'm you know, she's saying it's a crisis. I disagree. I think if people are safer and smarter about who they screw and what they screw with, i.e. a condom, then you wouldn't have these issues. Like, I don't, I don't understand how, like, they've really created a narrative to where it says people just over and over and over and over and over again are having these, you know, one late night stand, late, just a stand, and, oh, they get knocked. It's like, no, that happens. These pregnancies are a direct result of people deciding to just screw over and over again without having protection. Um, so maybe if anything good comes out of these diff these laws being passed, it's that people will stop screwing without having uh, something on top of them. Because I've, I've seen people who admitted that they don't like the feeling of not having uh, something on. So, you know, they, they basically say, I, I'm going to risk getting a, an STD or an unwanted pregnancy just because... I don't like the way the condom feels. I've seen that said. Um, so that is, I think this is an interesting statement. Like I said, the world looks at the U.S. and the stuff that goes on here, both domestic and internationally, and they're, they're, they're weirded out by it. Um, and this is a good example of that.